Will Social Security even be there for you when you retire? The answer is yes, it will be there for you. It's silly to think otherwise. All right, so here's from directly from socialsecurity.gov themselves. Will Social Security be there for me? Look at these happy people, they're smiling. You know, this guy's got some muscles, pretty looking wife there. You know, so that's the end of the story. They're happy, they're looking at their Social Security statement. They're like, man, it's gonna be there for me, Josh, yay. What else do you need to know? But remember, Social Security is a social insurance program. Social insurance. What is insurance? The protection against catastrophic events. Social Security is that, a insurance program against a catastrophic event. And one would be a catastrophic event a la running, losing 57% of your portfolio a la 2000, October 2007 to March 9th of 2009. How much did you lose on Social Security? Oh, right, nothing, nothing. Hmm, interesting. The fund is, program is funded by payroll taxes known as FICA. The FICA tax contributes to the Social Security Trust Funds. All monthly payments to people who are received Social Security are paid from the trust funds. Again, 66 million people are on some sort of Social Security right now. We have roughly 350 million people in America. That means almost 20%, one of every five people out there is on some sort of Social Security right now. Just keep that in mind. One out of five. The money you pay into FICA taxes are held in the trust funds, not in a personal account. Today's workers help pay for current retirees and other beneficiaries. Huh, that sounds like what? A Ponzi scheme. It's completely a Ponzi scheme. We take the new money, the younger workers, that'd be you and I, and the older workers get the benefit of it. This is what a Ponzi scheme is. The new entries pay into the system to pay the older people back, the older people their money. This Bernie Madoff is 100% what this is. But this is legalized because the government is doing it. Don't forget, people say, oh, it's, le it's legal, it doesn't mean it's right. I do 100%, but it is. I mean, slavery was legal. I mean, that's just a fact. So people, so everyone's like, oh, it's illegal, it's legal, it doesn't matter in terms of this. It just means that it is legitimately um, blessed, essentially, to say the government can do this. But that doesn't mean you can. And that also doesn't mean you shouldn't call it a Ponzi scheme. It's 100% Ponzi scheme. It's without question. <laughs> a Ponzi scheme is you take the new people come in, they contribute to the fund, and the fund then pays the old people. And so what, why a Ponzi scheme ultimately always breaks down is because they got to find new people to come in. And once they stop finding those new people, there's no more money to pay the older people. And then that whole thing collapses. With Social Security, it's not like that because they force with taxation you to pay. Right? So anyway, let's keep going because I think it's interesting. And people with defense social security, like, don't call it a Ponzi scheme. It's literally what it is. Why do you get so offended by that? It's okay. It's a legalized Ponzi scheme. It is what it is, man. Uh, let's see. The annual trustees report uh, provides information about the solvency of the trust fund. Solvency refers to the ability to pay 100% of the currently scheduled benefits. Um, right now, we the social security actuaries use this information from the trustees report to figure out whether there will be enough to pay all scheduled benefits. The most recent trustees report released in 2023 projects that the trust fund reserves will be depleted in 2034. All right, so what happens here is we've got the trust fund. Let me draw this up here real quick. Here we go. Right now, we got a trust fund right here that can pay 100% of the benefits. We own a bunch of government bonds in this trust fund. All right, so one of the things that Social Security is the reason why it's even more solid today than when it was two years ago is because the interest rates are getting top of the morning to you. Hey, First Sergeant, good morning. Be all that you can be. Remember that? I'm that black guy. He said to the First Sergeant, hey, First Sergeant, good morning. In the Army. So right now we got the trust fund can pay all the 100% benefits because every penny you're paying goes into the trust fund. Now what happens, though, the trust fund by 2034 will be exhausted. So they won't be able to pay 100% of the benefits. The trust fund is literally just government bonds, is what it is. So how do we only pay 80% of the benefits that time? Well, that's from the FICA taxes that we are paying in. So the trust fund will be zeroed out in 2034, but 80% of the benefits will be covered by the FICA taxes. All right? So that's how it works. So it's not solvent, but it's not completely gone. It's silly when people say, oh, it's not going to be there for me. Like, why? Why would you ever say that? I mean, if you want to reduce it by 20%, I mean, I think that's stupid. You can. But why would you ever even imply that Social Security isn't going to be there for you? It makes no sense to me that people do that. Right, whatever. Uh, this does not mean the benefits will stop in 2034. If no action is taken by Congress to ensure the solvency of the Social Security plan, remember solvency means it has 100% benefits in the trust fund to pay, in the trust fund. Uh, the, the, there'll be enough FICA taxes to pay about 80% of scheduled benefits. All right? 
Congress has previously uh, acted to ensure the solvency of the trust fund and protect the benefits. Yep. In 2023, Social Security covers more than 180 million workers in the event of death or disability. What does that mean? Basically, if you're working, you're paying in Social Security. And basically, if they take away your Social Security, those 180 million people aren't going to be happy. It's not going to be like January 6th, let's put it that way. You know, there's January 6th people who are insurrectionists, even though weird, they didn't have any firearms. kind of strange because... You know, all those people, I guarantee, own firearms, but the insurrections didn't have firearms. Weird. That's what kind of insurrection is that? I'm just throwing out, I don't know, man. I wasn't there. Um, but it's kind of strange. Anyway, if you took Social Security away, there's going to be a hell of a lot of people who are going to be a hell of a lot more mad than the January 6th people. Let's put it that way. Um, and I don't know what they're going to do. I'm not going to do anything. I'm sorry. Whatever. You know, that's why I don't have debt, but still. One out of four workers who's 20 years old in 2023 is projected to become disabled. That seems high to me, but okay. One out of eight workers is expected to die before they reach retirement age. One out of eight workers is expected to die before they reach retirement age. For example, I mean, that's 12.5%. Won't even hit retirement age, one out of eight. And so all their money is going to be used for Social Security for other people. That's literally an insurance program. You're dead, so you don't care. All the taxes you paid go into Joe Bob over there. For example, if a 30-year-old worker who is, earns a medium wage, medium wage and a, a spouse and two minor children becomes disabled, the present value of lifetime disability benefits would be about 900,000 schmackaroonies. That's not too shabby. Anyway, stop this. Social Security won't be there for me because that's just stupid. It's, it's going to be there for you. How will it be there? Will it be there 100%? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 66 million people taking a 20% pay cut is would just ruin the economy. No politician is going to let that happen. It's, it'll be ugly like you have never can imagine. Worse than the Great Depression. All right, God bless. We'll see you. Love your thoughts.